Hello everybody, today's video is going to just be a short video about the Ricoh FF9 which I picked up in a charity shop for about £1.50, absolute bargain. Um, I don't know why I came home with it really, it didn't look, didn't really stand out to me as any better than any other uh, point and shoot camera and they have these huge buckets full of old point and shoot cameras, uh, most of them are a load of rubbish but it was one I hadn't seen before and I thought oh uh, Ricoh that might be, uh, maybe they did make good cameras and it had autofocus and it just had this kind of solid lump of plastic thing about it um, and I thought oh well I'll give it a go and I like the fact that you slide this down the lens opens the lens looked nice and clean and that worked and I thought well I'll take a punt and I'll put a battery in it and see how it works and it takes it takes these batteries which is a, a CRP 26 volt um, so those aren't the cheapest, if I'm honest, but they last an incredibly long time. But um, using the flash with it, it's lasted about uh, eight months. If I didn't use the flash, I mean, they just go on and on and on. I've had, um, I've used these batteries in, for example, the Nikon uh, AF3, and they just go on for years if you're not using the flash. Um, but this is quite a pricey camera these days. Um, I've got all three versions and it took a long time to get those and some I picked up for bargains and some I paid kind of what they're going for, uh, which is expensive. Um, but uh, you can pick up an FF9 for very little money. Uh, just keep a bit of an eye out. They come up on eBay. Um, I think even if you paid £15 for it, that's still a bit of a bargain. It's just got a solid kind of lump to it where it um, just feels actually for a plastic camera. Um, point and shoot it feels actually really well made uh, so there isn't really much to it um, you go like that it opens it and it tells you there the battery now I've got no film in it so if you press the shutter and there's no film in it it makes this horrible noise <laughs> it doesn't normally make that horrible noise if there's film in it it uh, clicks takes the photo and um, it might and sounds much like most point and shoot cameras um, it's uh, you open it up like this and you load the film. So you kind of load it backwards actually. So you put it in there, line it up and it's got this kind of auto feed thing here. So you just pull it across uh, to there and then it just it loads the film for you, which is great. Um, I couldn't find, I Googled it, couldn't find when this was made. I'm gonna guess early 90s, 1990s, something like that. I don't think it was probably made in the 80s. It feels a little bit, um, with the auto feeding the film in and things like that, I think it's probably. But if you know, put in the comments if you know what year this was made. So I wouldn't normally make a video on just a sort of like uh, very basic kind of couple of quid point and shoot camera. But the reason I am is when I uh, got my photos back and I shoot shot half a roll probably eight months ago. Didn't think any, didn't think I'd get anything good out of this camera. To be honest, just thought. Thought I'd take a punt on it. Um, I finished the roll off this weekend, developed it, and was really surprised at how good the photos were. The lens in this thing is brilliant. Okay, it's 3.5, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it is sharp. Um, and the autofocus on this is absolutely fantastic. I um, really pushed the autofocus on this. I was taking pictures in low light, think of uh, close up, um, moving subjects. And it just nails the autofocus. And so you get sharp in-focus photos for this. Uh, an example was um, I was taking a picture and it was my daughter jumping up and down on a trampoline. And it's one of these massive trampolines. So I'm not tall enough to uh, lean and look over the top of the trampoline and frame up through the camera and take the picture. So I held this camera at, at arm's length and pointed it down as they were jumping up towards the camera and took a, took two photos and it nailed the autofocus on both of them and uh, it was a I used a roll of triax and I was I was really surprised at how good this this little camera was so I thought I'd kind of put that out there really if you can get one for I'd say under 15 pounds or if you see one in your local charity shop or car boot sale for a couple of quid definitely get it uh, really the only bad thing I can say about this camera is the batteries are a little on the expensive side but they last a very long time so they're actually good value for money when you think how long they last um, and that was kind of it really 
other than that it'll, it'll it's got a flash which is great it's not too harsh um unlike a lot of point and shoots i actually found the, the flash to be um just about right and uh, it'll charge up there when it's uh, i'll see if i can get it to do that without filming so it's, it's making this horrendous noise because there's no film in it so it's trying to sp that's the noise of it trying to load the film over and realizing it's not there but the little light will come up there and tell you when the flash is ready and you've got a little autofocus light there and it's just a really uh unassuming plastic point and shoot lump of a camera but that actually has a really good lens on it and you can take it down the beach and not worry about getting sand into it because you can just go like that and it'll close up and if something did happen to it you know you can just replace it it's not not too expensive so Go and get one, I reckon. They're well worth it. Or keep an eye out for one at car boots and charity shops. Okay, thank you very much. If you're liking these videos, like and share, and I shall make more.